Welcome to A State of Sight. I'm Isaac Porter and this is your update in ophthalmology and eye care. And today I would like to explain eye vitamins because frequently I will see commercials for these and we get a lot of questions from patients about which vitamins may be best. So I thought it would be a great time to share. And generally for patients that are healthy, I just recommend that they take a good multivitamin and try to eat the best diet that they can. I think for most people this is enough. But for other people, it's been proven for macular degeneration that a specific vitamin combination can help slow the progression of the macular degeneration. Now, this has not been proven for people who are in the early stages of macular degeneration when it may just be starting. And it's also not proven for people who may be at risk for macular degeneration, say if their parents had macular degeneration, because we know that their risk would be higher if it's in their family, but as, as of yet, this combination hasn't been proven to help them. So what it is, it was uh, researched very extensively in what's called the AREDS study. That's A-R-E-D-S, and it stands for the Age-Related Eye Disease Study. And with it, they looked at high-dose antioxidants along with zinc and copper to help uh, prevent the progression of macular degeneration. Now this particular combination originally was vitamin C, vitamin E, and beta carotene along with the zinc and copper. And it was definitely proven uh, for people who had the intermediate or more advanced stages of macular degeneration. And so based off that we had been recommending it to all our patients who qualified for it. Now over time, we found out that with some of these higher doses of beta carotene, it could possibly increase the risk for lung cancer in people who were smokers or smokers in the past. So a different formula was developed to replace lutein with beta carotene. And now currently, that's the recommendation that I make for my patients. Now there was a follow-up study called the AREDS2 study. Now with this one, they were looking into the lutein as well as zeaxanthine, which is another uh, pigment antioxidant similar to lutein. And then also they were looking at omega fatty acids. So with this new study, it wasn't proven very much that these additional changes could help in the formula, but there were some indications that the lutein and zeaxanthine could be beneficial when using replacement of the beta carotene. So I know this is a lot of information about these vitamins and I know uh, lots of patients wonder about them. So if you have macular degeneration or you have any questions, please post. We'll be happy to answer them and we hope to see you again soon next time on A State of Sight.